Hi, this is Rolando Chang Barrero and Dion Jefferson. Yes. Hey, honey, how, how are you excited about everything? Yes, I'm super excited about today. <laughs> okay, well, we're on Lake Worth Pier and we're recording Bigger Love yes. by Peterson Toscano. Yes. And you'll get to enjoy it in a little bit. Uh, this is part of Climate Change Action Theater 2019. Stay tuned and enjoy the play. Climate, Climate change, change is, is a threat, threat multiplier. multiplier. This does not just extend to weather patterns, patterns or events, events but, but also to existing social conditions. conditions. If on a pleasant sunny day someone experiences challenges in regards to housing, policy, health care, and mobility, and what happens when an extreme weather event hits? While every resident is affected, <laughs> some are affected more and for a longer period after a weather event. While, While we are, we are all, all in the same boat together, together we, we are not all on the same deck. deck. Some inspiration for the same came when Toscano I did research, research for an article published, published by the American, American Public, 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 Public Health Association in the, in the same, same boat, boat, not the same deck. deck. Toscano was, was also inspired, inspired by the following queries. 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 <laughs> what, what is a queer response to climate change? change? Who are, are the climate action figures of the future? As, As impact, impact magnify, magnify, how will our, our empathy, empathy and both creative caring for each other also increase? Okay, so here comes the fun part. Okay. The characters. Who's the character? You're Kyle. Yes. You want to be Kyle? You're you're a 27 year old white cisgender guy. Yes. But and you're not. No, not really. No, you're, what are you? I am a 31 year old black guy. Oh my God. Yes. Okay. Can you play that role? You want me to play the role? I, you can. I, I can I, totally I, I'm do a it. Mutt. I'm, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so Kyle is a 27-year-old white cisgender gay man. Check, that's me. Uh, written, not really. That's um, him. Anyway, <laughs> he's originally from rural Missouri. Where the fuck is Missouri? I have no fucking clue. Anyway, studied art history. I did that. <laughs> Works at gift shop in Metropolitan Museum of Art. Never, honey. Okay. I sell my shit there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Joey. Joey, you're Joey? Yes, okay. I'll be Joey. Joey. I'm 29. You're, you're 29. I'm 29-year-old cisgender, bisexual, Bullshit. Italian, Cis Puerto Rican native. <laughs> you're bisexual? <laughs> have you ever slept with girls? Never. Okay. Fuck. But we're going to do he's it today. Gay. We're going to do it today. From New York. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So that's, so that's a little doable. bit. We're, yeah. we're okay. Uh, I graduated with a degree in political science and I work at okay. a coffee shop um, and also volunteer for various nonprofits around the city. So, I mean, okay. I like some you, you of can, what he's you got going to that. on. Okay. Yeah. So we got our roles down pack. Now, okay. the stage set for this play is New York City apartment. Okay. Um, Lake Worth Beach. <laughs> honey, on the pier. Uh, okay. So the door opens to Boom. a long hallway leading to a cross section of a bedroom space. Uh, I've slept on this beach before. So. <laughs> I definitely have too. So, it's so our, we make it our bedroom today. It's my bedroom now. Uh, apartment door unlocks, opens. I enter, I put my backpack on the floor. You're gonna have to pretend that there's a backpack here. Um, okay, I remove my shoes. You don't want to see my feet, honey. Uh, <laughs> and then large, diverse pile of shoes at the entrance. That's like my bedroom, yes. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> start again. Hey, I'm home. I'm in the bedroom. I'm in the bedroom. Gosh, Gosh, it's crazy, it's crazy out, out there still. still. There's food in the food kitchen that Sammy made. made. Oh no, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, uh, well, he's a good cook. I don't like don't all that like free all food, that food, honey. honey. You know, you free know, of meat, meat dairy, dairy, gluten, dairy, and flavor. flavor. I get that I he's, get vegan. he's vegan. We know. We know. Hey, you. you. Have you noticed you Sammy know, looks Sammy great? Looks great. Yeah. But he has really bad breath. Yeah, I know. And he kind of hovers, too. Well, they all hover. <laughs> so how did the art move go? We barely got a dent in it. The Med had over a million pieces in that underground tunnel. It's a miracle almost none of it got damaged. Some guy from the mayor's office said almost every basement in the city got flooded this time. Still flooding in some places, I heard. So, uh, where are they moving it to? Undisclosed location. Some place upstate, I bet. Or... Swabon. Swabon. 
Svalbard. Svalbard. Svalbard is where they are. No, we, we don't know. Svalbard. I, I, I even looked it up. Yeah. Okay, I can't say it. Uh, I can't pronounce it. I'm Cuban, honey. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Whatever. Svalbard, uh, where they store that strategic art reserves. Oh, I actually got to pack up a Martin Hartley. Who would have thought that farm boy from Missouri would have been handling priceless pieces of art? Big deal. I get to handle priceless pieces of art every day. Oh, honey. <laughs> Where is everyone? Well, let's see. Uh, Sammy's out foraging. Dumpster diving. Sure. Um, Jenna actually has an audition for Drag Review. <laughs> she likes really being into trans and doing drag all at the same time. Uh -huh. Nino is... Uh, who knows? Uh, he said he was going to see um, if he had work and if they were open again. He's got no response there, so I think Lewis is uh, someplace doing laundry. Oh, uh, by the way, he wants to know if you have any extra meds you can, he could borrow. He's mm. not been able to get in contact with his doctor. Um, I think so. What's up with his doctor? Well, she's in Long Island. What the hell is he going to a doctor in Long Island for? It's complicated. Uh, but he said she's the only trans male friendly doctor in what? all of New York. <laughs> it's, 20, it's 2028. Yeah, well, I was just reading this terrible story. This trans woman who was, after a storm, cut off her leg with some debris, and then she went on to an emergency room where the clinic treated her like she was shit. Oh, it just sucks. Well, they're all gone. You know, this is the first time we've been alone in the apartment since the refugee crisis. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm. So do you think we should move? Hey, not that again. I mean, a lot of people are. You know a lot of people can't. I'm just glad we have this place and can take care of some people. Maybe we can see about getting a bigger apartment or something. A hostel for the weary, storm-driven queers in New York City. <laughs> It's something, it's community. Uh, we could do more to help. Oh my God, you totally sound like Mayor Morales. Biggest storms need bigger love. Bigger love. <laughs> well, it's true. And what's wrong with bigger love? Um, now that we're alone, you're thinking about big love, honey? <laughs> well, I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> and I'm feeling the atmospheric pressure has dramatically changed. Oh, has it? Uh, yeah, there's a brewing storm, a big nasty storm. Oh, it's right here, city boy. <laughs> what do you do, weather reports now? Uh-huh, the swirling masses of pressure and heat are building up the storm surge. Oh, the storm surge. Let's lock the door. <laughs> oh shit, somebody's coming back. <laughs> oh!